Hello everyone and welcome back to Hard Mode Stock Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. Video from this series is from Twitch live streams, so you'll hear me interacting with the audience. Some flight portions may be choppy because of the way I was streaming and recording it, but hopefully that'll be fixed down the road. With that, here's the original audio from the stream as we aim to have Val complete a Moon or Flyby mission contract. Okay, here we go. Launch. Orbital docking. Well, we haven't gotten to that yet, but... And, to be honest, I haven't done it in a long time without using some mods, but... We'll see. In theory, I should not be too rusty in it. I... Yeah, this is not the best angle of attack right now. Hello, Rocketology. Perfect sh I wouldn't call it perfect, as uh, some people notice some discrepancies. Uh, as the ultimate shuttle mission, the STS-51A, in real life is ultimate. My version was a little bit crappy. Let's see if we can get to the moon and what we can do there. Clean white cake, no frosting, no... <laughs> basically. Not even clouds. Okay, we can coast. Yep. Yep. That it is. But some people will swear by plain cake. I think they're mostly afraid of calories, but still. <laughs> KSB mods make you fat. <laughs> it's, there's a case to be made. There's a chance we could go to the moon, make orbit, break orbit, and come back. I don't even have patch conics unlocked. Cake is a lie. I haven't even played Portal. I, I, I started playing Portal, but I got stuck on one of the puzzles and I just gave up. I don't like puzzle games. It's lopsided, but it'll do. Okay, so without patch conics, we just wait for... Um, yeah, the, the Terrier is so wonderful. The Terrier. We just took off the LVT-45 and put the Terrier and suddenly we can do moon missions, right? LVT-45, we can barely make orbit. The problem is breaking orbit around the moon and coming back. Um, that can be touchy when you can't see the patch conics past the moon's SOI. So you have to... You have to... Whatchamacallit? Oh, there we go. You have to be careful to reserve enough fuel for that. On the bright side, no life support. <laughs> life support would make things much worse. The moon's ability to grab objects is pretty good, both here and in the Earth system. So you don't have to be too worried about Missing Lunar SOI or Moonar SOI. That should do the trick. We need to remember to get high orbit and everything. I don't know, 736 makes me feel a little bit queasy. Okay, that should be high over. Not gonna have communication out there. We'll do one mystery goo here. Might as well grab that crew port now. Oh, um, but we can't operate the thermometer. Oh, we'll have to board and then do those and then have her grab it. Oh, well, crash course is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Radial out, please. That's in. Other way. Watch out for the battery. Suddenly, uh, moon landing and then we have to rescue Val. At least, no life support problem, but still, probably not the best idea. Where are you showing that periapsis point? Why is the periapsis point being- that's suspicious as all heck. Isn't it? That's suspicious. I don't like that. 
That has things going wrong written all over it. But okay. I mean, time to do some science. Yeah, 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 of course. I'm looking to make orbit. Heck, we'll, we'll be doing EVAs around the moon. We'll be very... Hopefully Val won't die. <laughs> I mean, hopefully Val won't die or need rescuing or anything. But who knows. Um, I'll save the low moon mystery goo for next time. We'll do this mystery goo here now. Get the crew report now. Well, we can't really use reset goo because I'm not a scientist. Okay. Um, says periapsis is 34. We've got verification in the corner there. Uh, which way around is it? Um, we can leave ourselves in a high orbit. There's no life support. Uh, but breaking orbit, we want to go this way around, so probably not a good idea. Forget what the height is for low moon orbit. This should be good enough, right? Near the moon. Temperature is not biome dependent. So we'll, we'll only do those once. Crew report. Okay, removed, added, removed, added. All right. Um, let's see. Let's look for a crater. Ambient light. Great, right now. Uh, we've got a bit of an inclination. We're not hitting that one. And hit this one. We should be able to graze that one. I've not got milk at all yet. Far side crater. Okay, I'll turn up ambient light. Nothing special on the back side here right now. And I think it's probably all Midlands or something. We'll see. Let me go. Okay, so we won't be hitting any new biome for a while, I don't think. So we'll just bring bring her back. That should be enough. Break orbit. But is it a nice low periapsis around Kerbin, or is it an ugly high periapsis that will leave her stranded when she only has this much? Um, I think we can bring it down. Okay, is it going to be enough Delta V to bring her back, or is it a rescue mission? Barely. I'll go for 26 kilometer periapsis. That should be enough. Eventually I'll bring her down. Cash? Yeah, hopefully the Explore Moon contract is lucrative, but you know, there's hard mode, so they, they don't give us as much cash as they ought to. Let's take the bite out of our orbit a little bit. Milestones? They haven't really mentioned many milestones. Well, I guess they're in there somewhere, yeah. World's first milestones. Well, I haven't got much cash from our previous milestones, so... That's all I know. Looking good. No... But there's some hills there. There are suspicious hills, but I think we'll be short of them. I forget if... Oh god, that ground shaking is gonna annoy the heck out of me. What the heck, anyway? Other people who have played 1.8, do you get this or not? I guess not too many people have played 1.8. This lens. Um, we need to be able to, like, do surface samples. 
Oh, you see it on the forums? Okay. So it's not just me. 194 Scions! That is more than I thought. Yeah, the space at the front. Got it. Oh, wow. Okay. Unlock all the things! Electrics, absolutely. Uh, miniaturization? Nah, not yet. I don't know about that little, these little, exp these sorts of control station things. I haven't played around with those yet. Um, you know, advanced flight control could be good. I feel a little bit guilty about leaving stability out so far though. Launch class will probably be necessary soon. Big rockets are overrated. <laughs> Uh, but we, we've got we've got 135, which is good enough for uh, something with 45 and something with 90. So maybe we should milk it. Ooh, little proby things. Let's do little proby things. Start with launch clamps. I, they, but the, you see, they they want you to explode. They they're they're very schizophrenic about or multiple personality disorder about it. They, on the one hand, they've been making things smoother. On the other hand, they still want you to explode. And so we still have noodle rockets, and <laughs> so they want you to topple at least once. <laughs> That's, they, they don't want to take that experience away from the user. The player should have their rocket topple at least once. I don't know. Might saw? I haven't seen the might before. Hmm. These sod motor things. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll stretch. I need. I need to run a poll. Um, we have. We have two options. We can focus on trying to like do a lunar landing, or we can focus on trying to send a probe to the outer planets or something. So, I'll. I'll let you guys decide. So. Uh, Crude or uncrewed? What's our focus? So, short term focus. Obviously, it's not permanent or anything. And I'll go stretch and I'll be right back. So, the question I put to my viewers was whether we should focus on crude or uncrewed things. And I got one vote. <laughs> And the one vote was for crude things, because people want to cause me pain and suffering, I think. Um, Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, in that case... I don't really need a lander can. <laughs> mm, we only need RCS for docking. We don't have enough for the big engines and the big tanks. But clustering engines isn't a big deal. Expensive, but... Yeah, let's just go for a big rocket. Research that, research that. Let's see what we can do. So, this was our previous rocket which got our Kerbal Valentina to the moon. And... Um, this time we're going to try and... Land? Are we gonna try and land on the moon? Hmm. Do we have ladders? Well, Kerbals can hop on the moon anyway. Um. Hopefully that's still safe. That's not. You know, maybe I should use a small. No, but then delta V wise, it's not good. One thousand four hundred. That doesn't seem like it's. <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble, aren't I? That's a lot of TWR that we don't need. Let's see... I can do my old trick. Not just my trick, everybody does it, but... Mm -hmm. 2,924 meters per second. That looks better to me. Okay, we've got all that stuff there. Okay... Probably we'll need more power. It's a toss-up. 
Uh, should have a solar panel. Let's just have a solar panel. Terrier here, is that advisable? Hmm. Probably not. We don't have any fairings, do we? <laughs> Service bay. We still got the... Oh, we've got the pad limit. Gosh darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to upgrade the pad. Uh, we need another name. Well, the only thing I see... Uh, hmm. Call calling it Smurf1 is probably a amusing enough name. Yeah, alright, Smurf1. I don't know, I'll just pick up random words from chat and go with it. Okay, so... Let's upgrade the pad, finally. Thank goodness it's instantaneous instead of the way it is with Kerbal Construction Time. I want to be able to pick up surface samples, but wait, that's not there. That's uh, R&D building. But yeah, we don't have enough money for that at all. I would love to get patched conics, but we can do without, I think. Can we at least get a contract to land on the moon? Oh, more explore the moon. Oh, land on the moon, yeah. That's what I want. Science day from surface of the moon. Well, that's part of the gig. Warwickshire? What's our limit? 140. Plenty of space. And how many parts? Still 30? That's the VAB, isn't it? Hold on. You could do it with 30, but... Oh gosh, that ex that's expensive. Okay. We need bigger tanks. We will spare no expense. We need four engines, though. We need to cut down on some parts here. Let's not do the goo just yet on the moon landing thing. Oh, but these don't surface attach, do they? Well, the center one does. That's annoying. Which tanks do surface attach? These do, obviously. Do we really need landing legs? I feel like that's that's a luxury, right? That seems stable. We've got SAS. Uh, is that enough engine power? Not really. That's in vacuum. Hmm, maybe we should stick on two Reliance or something. Or we could use SRBs. How many parts do we have left? No, that's it. Hmm. SRB on one side would be nice. Oh, the, do we have engine plates? I, I don't think we have engine. I don't, we don't have engine plates. I mean, we can definitely have one in the center, but... And we're still not going to have enough part count like this. Or these... no, these... Don't. Wait. Come on. But then they can't attack... well, no, they don't have to. Okay, hold on, I have a sneaky... Dastardly idea. I don't want to tuck them in. That has to come down somehow. Well, I guess maybe they'll make enough of a platform for it. I don't want it to be floaty. They're all going to be floaty, though. Doesn't look good. 29! Well, this... I feel like it's going to have trouble standing properly. So, we'll have our first ever launch stability enhancer. Just one, though, I think. We'll see if there's any problem with that. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to decide along the way whether we're gonna be cleared for landing and that sort of thing. This seems awful risky.
Jeb's turn. Could use the Reliant uh, as one of the engines, like the center one. Alright. Not that high, please. Alright, to the moon. <laughs> 